GoPro cameras have always been impressively compact while still being able to capture some incredible looking footage. Even more compact thanks to the built-in waterproof abilities on the Hero 5 Black with no external housing now needed. But for extreme sports, size and weight can make all the difference. GoPro first gave us this tiny cube of clever optics, the smallest and lightest GoPro camera ever produced. Now we have the first major update, the GoPro Hero 5 Session. Being smaller and lighter than other standard GoPros, the Hero 5 Session takes on the same form factor as its predecessor, which is identical in shape and size. What's changed is on the inside. It now shares many of the features of the Hero 5 Black, including voice control, video stabilization, a new sensor capable of shooting in full 4K at 30 frames per second, and more. All wrapped up in GoPro's smallest camera in the range. As with other cameras in the range, the Hero 5 Session is on clear display at the top of the package, complete within its frame type housing and secured with a buckle mount onto that very useful plastic base. Under which we have the user manual, a flat and curved adhesive mount, and a USB Type-C charge and sync cable. And that's it, there's no other mounts or accessories to get you started. The Hero 5 Session looks pretty much identical to its predecessor, you'd be hard pressed to tell them apart had it not been for the Hero 5 Session branding on one side. It's not the most aerodynamic design but it has a much lower profile and smaller surface area than its siblings. Regardless of the new shape, the Session is compatible with previous GoPro accessories thanks to the included frame mount. There's no ball joint mount included within the package though, or very little else for that matter so you get the bare basics to get you started. As with the predecessor, a single clip on the top corner can be lifted, releasing the session camera unit from the mount. Notice how the camera can be reinserted in any orientation, increasing versatility when mounting the camera to your gear. The lens continues to dominate the front of the unit, now capable of video capture at 4K 30 frames per second, which is an impressive feat considering its small size. Add to this 10 megapixel image capture, a step up from the predecessor's 8, and video stabilization, voice control, added field of view options, and it all rolls up into a seriously powerful little package. Physical controls are still minimal, the main shutter button at the top and the status or options button on the rear, alongside a small strip of information relayed within the tiny display across the top. We keep the dual status LED and microphone setup, the latter of which has been refined to make audio capture even better than its predecessor, on par with the Hero 5 Black. With a door that no longer springs open, the micro SD memory card is still inserted into the side of the camera, where we now have a USB Type-C connection rather than the previous micro USB, all sealed within the hinged side door, which once closed maintains the camera's 10 meter waterproofing. The 1000 milliamp battery is still not removable though and sealed inside the unit, so bear in mind the 2 hours or so of recording time, all dependent upon the chosen settings of course. Cramming high performance into the small water resistant body means the Hero does get a little warm while in use, although it shouldn't affect overall performance. Otherwise the menu system is still similar to its predecessor and still relatively simple to use, with its quick startup and recording option, as well as the ability to scroll through menus and change settings quickly and easily with the two buttons on the entire device. And that's all there really is to it. Although the camera has that small display, a strip of basic information, controls on the camera are extremely limited. Although there's also the GoPro Capture app where connectivity remains solid, making changing settings even easier as well as provide a live stream of what the camera sees. Although bear in mind Wi-Fi will use extra power, draining that built-in battery even faster, so use with caution. As expected from any GoPro camera, video captured by the session is great. It's now on par with the GoPro Hero 5, and footage captured is seriously sharp, vivid and colourful. It's honestly really impressive considering the camera's small size and low weight. The beauty lies in the fact that you can simply record and have decent shareable footage on your smartphone or computer in just a few minutes. Yes, you might need to do a little editing after shooting, although there's a GoPro app for that too, to make things as easy as possible.
There are also more field of view modes available to this session as well. Super view, linear and narrow join the existing wide and medium. It's amazing that this small camera can record in super view now for extra wide video. Linear is also great because it goes wide while reducing barrel distortion and getting rid of that fisheye type effect GoPro made famous making the image seem more natural. A much requested new feature, video stabilisation, has also been added to the camera and while it's digital only, it does a pretty decent job in smoothing out otherwise shaky and unwashable footage. The low light performance is touted as consumer grade compared to the professional level Hero 5 Black video, so you'll need to go for the full on Hero 5 Black if low light recording is what you're after. There aren't as many frame rate options among the various resolutions when compared to the Black Edition either. That said, the gap between the Hero 5 Black camera and the Hero 5 session has narrowed tremendously in the jump from Hero 4 to Hero 5. And that's great news for everyone who can't decide between the two options. Voice control also works wonderfully well with prompts such as GoPro start recording. GoPro stop recording. GoPro take a photo. All working perfectly well. The Hero 5 session has seriously narrowed the gap between itself and the flagship full on Hero 5 Black. Those who want more options, better low light capture, and a touchscreen will still want to reach for the Black Edition. Saying that, the Session is a very capable 4K action camera with a minimalist design that pushes the specs to the max within its cube-shaped confines. The extra features make it a seriously strong choice for those looking to upgrade from the predecessor. Those new to the GoPro bandwagon though will find the current GoPro range incredibly impressive, reconfirming GoPro as the king of action cameras as they continue to set the benchmark.